Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Yusuf. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Dhabiya Palace. The cabinet extended their best wishes for success to all students in their final examination for the second semester of the 2021-2022. The cabinet commended the efforts of the Ministry of Education for its developmental plans and programs to create an appropriate educational environment for students. In this regard, the Cabinet directed the Ministry of Education and the Higher Education Council to provide the necessary facility facilities to ensure students conveniently complete their exams. His Royal Highness directed government agencies and service centers to continue to embrace initiatives that enhance the quality and efficiency of government services. In this regard, the Cabinet reviewed a memorandum by the Government Executive Committee on the third edition of the Taqim Evaluation Program for the year 2021, which included 86 government centers, of which 19 were awarded a gold classification and six centers were awarded a silver classification. The Cabinet expressed its appreciation to the centers that achieved gold and silver classifications and for their excellence in the services they deliver to citizens and residents. The Cabinet also urged all government service centers to continue to strive for optimal service delivery. The Cabinet then approved the following, a memorandum by the Government Executive Committee on the issuance of a guide regulating public-private partnerships. The guide outlines the requirements and provisions related to partnership contracts, including the efficient implementation and operation of public projects, enhancing transparency and integrity in procedures, and improving the use of private sector expertise. A memorandum by the Minister of Interior and Chairman of the Committee to Combat Extremism, Terrorism and its Financing and Money Laundering regarding the Kingdom of Bahrain's adoption of the third enhanced follow-up report of the Middle East and North Africa Financial Action Task Force. The report indicated that the Kingdom of Bahrain achieved high rankings and 39 out of 40 recommendations. A memorandum by the Minister of Labor and Social Development and Chairman of the Board of Directors of LMRA regarding key labor market indicators for the first quarter of 2022. The memorandum reflected the positive impact of the economic recovery plan on the kingdom's labor market. And a memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the government's response to four legislative proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet took note of ministerial reports regarding Bahrain's participation in the World Economic Forum 2022 in Davis, the Education World Forum in London, the UNESCO meetings that took place in Paris, the 45th session of the Arab Youth and Sports Ministers' Council and of other foreign ministerial visits, and the visits of foreign delegations to the Kingdom of Bahrain for the month of June 2022. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa awarded 19 government service providers a gold classification for their excellence in service delivery under the third edition of the Taqim Evaluation Program at Qadibiyya Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of embracing initiatives designed to achieve excellence and sustainability in service delivery in line with the Kingdom's comprehensive development goals led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of building on current achievements and further enhancing creativity Activity, innovation and competitiveness across government services to meet the current and future needs of citizens and residents. His Royal Highness then presented awards to the following service providers. The Nationality Passports and Residence Affairs, Muharraq Branch. The Customs Clearance Services Center, Maritime Port, Custom Affairs. The Forensic Information Directorate, Muharraq Security Complex. The Nationality Passports and Resident Affairs, Isa Town. The Forensic Information Directorate, Southern Governorate Branch. 
the General Directorate of Traffic and Muharraq Security Complex, the Information and E-Government Authority Center for ID Card Services, Muharraq Seif Mall, Senate Post Office, the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications, Bahrain Mall Post Office, the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications, Rafah Post Office, the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications, Hamad Town Post Office, the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications, Abdaya Post Office, the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications, the Northern Area Municipality Center in Ali Building, the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, the Northern Municipality Service Center in Hamad Town, the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, the Northern Municipality Service Center in Abdaya Building, the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Southern Governorate Municipality Customer Service Center, the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Timkin Customer Service Center, Seif Mall, Labor Market Regulatory Authority, Mina Salman Center, the Ministry of Labor and Social Development, and Harak Social Center. His Royal Highness extended his congratulations to the awarded government service providers and expressed pride in their efforts and dedication to provide quality services to citizens and residents. He further commended the Evaluation Committee's efforts for their thorough assessment of the services provided by the various government entities. He expressed confidence in Bahraini citizens to continue to develop and enhance government services through creativity and innovation. For their part, the attendees expressed gratitude for His Royal Highness's continued support for public sector services, noting that the honor of receiving a gold classification provides motivation for further development of services in line with the current and future needs. A number of senior government officials also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Global Chairman and CEO of Arthur D. Little, Ignacio Garcia Alves at Libya Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the Kingdom's commitment to creative and innovative solutions and in further accelerating performance and development across key industries in line with the comprehensive development goals led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He noted the importance of sustainable solutions to challenges and transforming adversity into opportunities met with the global chairman and CEO of Arthur de Little, Ignacio Garcia, Alves Iqdebiya Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the commitment and to creative innovation solutions and further accelerating performance and development across key industries in line with the comprehensive development goals led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, hailed the new achievements made by Team Bahrain Victorious of becoming the best team in the Giro d'Italia. His Highness affirmed that the achievement asserts Victorious Team's status in the European arena and the cyclist's keenness to delivering the best performance to continue the march of success in European championships. His Highness wished the team success in the upcoming events, especially that this achievement will be an incentive to make further positive results. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, visited the World Cup International Exhibition of the retired referee Ibrahim al Doi in the presence of the deputy president of the GSA, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the CEO of the GSA, Dr. Abdul Rahman Askar. His Highness was received by international retired referees Ibrahim al Doi and Jasim Mendi, and former international player Ibrahim Zwayed, and media figures Muhammad Lori and Nasser Muhammad. His Highness expressed pride in the sports march of Idoi and praised his contributions to Bahraini sports, hailing his march that witnessed his presence as the first Bahraini and Gulf referee to run the 1982 World Cup matches that were held in Spain. His Highness exchanged talks with Idoi about the unforgettable moments of his career, most notably the first warning in the journey of the Brazilian legend Pelé during Bahrain's match against the Brazilian Santos team in 1973 in Bahrain. They also talked about the development witnessed in Bahraini refereeing, in which it gained the confidence of the Asian and international football associations to seek the assistance of Bahraini referees, which has raised the status of the kingdom on the regional and international levels. Adoy expressed appreciation for His Highness's visit and praised His Highness's support for the sports march of the kingdom. He added that His Highness's visit reflects His Highness's keenness and care towards Bahraini sports and contributes to the sector's development.
The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid Zayani, affirmed during a ceremony to launch the Chinese Geely brand, the government's constant keenness to support the Bahraini commercial sector. He affirmed that the services provided by the kingdom to investors achieve the required facilitation for the sector and provide it with all the requirements that contribute to its advancement. The minister was briefed on the techniques used in manufacturing this new model from the company, which is one of the leading manufacturers of cars in China. The chairman of the board of directors of Zayani Investments, Khalid Zayani, indicated that Bahrain seeks to open the way for companies and brands globally to choose the Kingdom of Bahrain as their permanent headquarters, stressing that attracting Geely cars is a new addition to the growing car market in the Kingdom.